So once again, good afternoon, everyone. This is Anjita from Amway South Marketing Team. My friend and my colleague Helen is also with us from Amway South Marketing Team. We welcome you all to the second day of Beauty Carnival event, Smile More. So we have an esteemed speaker with us today, Dr. Vidya Hari Iyer. She is a director of Smile Dental Clinic, Chennai. She is such a great. person because she is a dental surgeon consultant she is an inspirational speaker she is a psychotherapist counselor business woman entrepreneur past president of intel dental association of madras bad the list actually goes on and on we are so happy and honored to have you here ma'am with us uh, today so on behalf of entire south marketing team i welcome you ma'am onto this virtual stage over to you ma'am Thank you so much, Anjita and Helen Margaret. Are you able to hear me clearly? Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. But there is a slight echo. Is there? Give me a second. Yeah. Ah, uh, is there an echo still? Yes, ma'am. Is there an echo now? Yes. Ah. Uh, Give me a second. Yes, sure, ma'am. Is there an echo now? No, ma'am. It is perfect. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, is my screen seen and yes. uh, I'm heard properly? Yes, ma'am. It is perfect. Okay. Yeah. Good evening, friends. Uh, thank you so much, Anjita and Helen, uh, for this wonderful opportunity. Uh, and uh, this is a mega event organized by Ambi South Marketing, and today is the second day. So, on behalf of the entire team, I would like to welcome all of you for the Smile More session. Smile, definitely, it improves your face value. It's such a positive thing to even start your evening or your day with. Smile, use your smile to change the world, but never let the world change your smile. with those few words i would like to take you to the presentation smile more so today we are going to talk upon the oral hygiene and the dental care definitely uh, you know a smile is so precious it's a free therapy it's an inexpensive way to say uh, that you know you look good and to improve your smile and i am a dentist and a smile designer so it gives me a lot of uh, you know pride and a proud privilege to stand in front of all of you today to share how you can you take care of your smile to start with what all does the teeth help us to do one it definitely helps us to eat our food helps us in conversations and proper pronunciations of words it gives us a uh, value to our face i'm sure you recognize this very big personality but imagine him without your his teeth it definitely helps in self defense when need arises and for those people who just thought teeth was uh, just a part of their uh, physical being i need to tell you that the teeth was the one which helped uh, rajiv gandhi case get solved because it has the dna just like your blood your bone your saliva your sebum your hair follicle a tooth also helps in forensics a teeth today if you're going to take a selfie nothing works well if you don't smile and last but not the least it definitely adds to your personality let's understand a little more on your baby tooth so when a child is born i'm sure you all must have experienced this from about 6 months of the child's age you would see them biting into anything which comes their way what happens basically the teeth starts to come and they want to bite anything hard so that it helps them for the teeth to come out that is the milk dentition which comes from 6 year uh, months to about 6 years so you can see in the deciduous teeth you have five kinds of uh, you know teeth arranged in each jaw so if i have to divide them i call them the central incisor the lateral incisor the canine the first molar and the second molar so if i have to divide your face into four and four quadrants with five teeth each a total of 20 teeth 
come in the deciduous teeth. Then when we speak about the permanent teeth, we say 32 teeth, right? So here, along with the central incisor and the lateral incisor and the canine, which you had in the deciduous teeth, we have the first and the second premolar, which is called the bicuspids. And then there in the deciduous teeth, you just had the first molar and the second molar. Here, you also have a third molar. So instead of five teeth in a quadrant, you have eight teeth and eight fours are 32. So that's how you get 32 teeth in the permanent dentition. The permanent teeth arises when the patient or the child is about six years of age. And as the child grows till about 17 years, all the teeth are there except the wisdom tooth. The third molar is otherwise called the wisdom tooth. I'm sure all of you must be uh, well versed with this uh, food pyramid where the carbohydrates come on the lower quadrant and then you have the proteins, the vegetable and the fruit groups, the milk, the yogurt, cheese group, the meat, poultry, which is two to three servings. And obviously at the top of the pyramid, you have the fats, the oils, the sweets, which is used very sparingly. But to eat all of them, you definitely need your teeth. And for your teeth to grow, you again need to eat. So let's understand a little more on the diet. A healthy diet includes a variety of plant-based and animal-based foods that provide the nutrients to your body. So as the child grows, for the first six months, maybe it's just breastfeeding. But after that, if you realize whatever food you give to your child helps the child to also have good teeth. So such nutrients not only gives the energy which keeps your body running, but also these nutrients help to build and strengthen the bones, the muscles and the tendons and also regulate the body processes. So what are the best food for your teeth? And if you want healthy teeth, what next? So here we have the eggs, fish, any citrus fruit, milk, pot herb, pumpkin, calais, carrot, apples, cottage cheese, bow and honey. All these have various minerals and vitamins which is very good for your teeth. Now let's look at what are the good bite and the bad bite. Good bites are good food. Fruits and vegetables are rich in fiber and hence are very good for your teeth. They also act as a detergent to keep your teeth clean. Because the more the fibrous the food is, it's easy to stimulate the saliva, thereby acting as a natural cleansing agent. All the dairy products have calcium in it and that helps to strengthen the teeth. Tea has polyphenols which is helpful in killing or suppressing the bacteria, thereby preventing caries. So what are the bad food? Definitely the wine, medical medical, uh, you know, whatever medications which you would take, soft drinks, which are a total no-no, and definitely candy or any such sweet kind of food is not good for your teeth. So what are the top six vitamins and minerals which are very healthy for your teeth and your gum? Calcium, vitamin D, vitamin C, vitamin A, fluoride, and phosphorus are very, very vital as your teeth goes into the morpho differentiation and the histo differentiation as the teeth grow even in the womb of the mother. So from pregnancy, if a woman takes care of her health with all these kind of supplementation, the child would have a better set of teeth. Coming into supplementation, I'm sure all of you would understand that we need a lot of supplements as we are going to have good teeth. One is daily. For all of us who understand daily better, it is a combination of 24 vitamins and minerals in total for a 24-hour day. 13 essential vitamins with 11 essential minerals. And what is best about Neutralite Daily? You have the phytonutrients which are organically grown. The acerola cherry, parsley, spinach, watercress, alfalfa and carrot are also available in this daily. Nutri daily is a very convenient way to eat 
whatever is missing from your diet. So we must have definitely heard about eat smart or eat hard, right? So here is a smarter way of including all the vitamins in your diet. The next which comes would be natural C. So we spoke about daily, which is all vitamins and minerals. Then why extra natural C? I'm sure all of you must have heard about bleeding gums. Now, if you're fighting with bleeding gums, the vitamin which works as a miracle there is vitamin C. So our natural C contains isolated vitamin C with acerola cherry concentrates. And acerola cherry is the richest known source of vitamin C. And it is grown in the neutralite farms. It also contains the citrus bioflavonoids, which are usually associated with vitamin C in a citrus fruit. Each tablet of such neutralite natural C gives you 40 grams of vitamin C along with the regular diet which you would take to support your supplementation. Next, of course, is the CalMag D+. All of us understand the five very essential nutrients which come with this product. It is the calcium, vitamin D, mag magnesium, zinc and manganese. So what does the calcium do? It is from the algal source found in the deep waters of the coast of Iceland. And it is most natural botanical sources of calcium. Vitamin D is very critical for calcium absorption. So once we understand that we need calcium for the teeth and the bones, we also need to understand how well does this calcium absorption takes place. Next, we need vitamin D and this helps in calcium absorption. After that, it is the magnesium. Magnesium contributes to the maintenance of the bone and the teeth. So magnesium is so important that it helps to have healthy teeth and healthy bones. After which is zinc. I'm sure all of us have understood the importance of zinc in the last six months of our lives. So zinc is an immunity booster and helps in healthy immunity. Manganese is very important for supporting tissue, which is also a very integral part of your oral cavity. The same components are there even in the kids' vitamins. So here we have the kids' chewables. The kids' chewable is otherwise the kids' daily. So all of us, as we take daily once a day, we need to give our kids the kids' chewable. So here is a blend of natural orange, vanilla and licorice flavor. And all kids' chewables are all flavored supplements so that the kids can either, uh, you know, uh, just bite on it or just keep it as a toffee in their mouth so that it is easy to chew for them. Neutralite Tropical Fruit Concentrate is a blend of acerola cherry, pineapple, cashew, passion fruit, guava concentrate, and definitely with an additional benefit of the phytonutrients. All this is very important for the teeth to have good nutrition as it grows. Next is the kids tubal natural C. As we need natural C for good tissue support, the, the tissue support in our oral cavity definitely is the gums there. And similarly for the children, as the teeth are coming out of their gums, they need to support their healthy gums. And that is why the natural C plays a very important part. So the kids chewable natural C is a tasty natural fruit flavor and each tablet contains uh, the required amount of acerola cherry along with vitamin C which provides good normal functioning of the immune system, develops and maintains the cartilage of the teeth and the gums and definitely helps in protection of cells and oxidation stress. All this together gives you a healthy teeth. Let us have a little more information on dentistry. So when you open your mouth and say smile, you see a white aspect of your uh, teeth or the oral cavity. That is called the crown portion of your teeth. The teeth which is not visible to you, which is inside your bone, that portion is called the root portion of the teeth. So the crown has an external surface called the enamel and then that enamel is the hardest and the strongest portion of your teeth. Not only of your teeth, of the entire body actually. Next, 
that enamel covers the dentine and the dentine is spread not only in the crown portion but extends even into the root portion of the tooth. The innermost portion of a tooth is called the pulp or where you have the nerves and the blood vessels and that is the most sensitive part of your tooth. So imagine if any decay has to happen, it has to cross the enamel which is the hardest and the strongest portion then through the dentine into the pulp. Now you would understand the most prevalent diseases of the oral cavity are the dental caries and the gum disease. So you would have correlated why we spoke about uh, all the vitamins and we spoke also about, uh, you know, why we need the natural C along with uh, the calcium for the teeth and the bones. So what are the stages of the tooth decay? There are four stages. First, you would have decay only in the enamel. Then if you have actually not gone, uh, you know, to a doctor and seen them or a dentist and seen them at this stage, because this stage is mostly painless. They might complain of just about food getting stuck there uh, or slight sensitivity. And that's it. Nothing much. The second stage is an advanced decay where it has crossed the enamel and it is going up to the dentine. Here, if you can imagine a cone, if it is in the deeper portions of your pits and fissures, the cone will have the tip outside and the base of the cone would be outside. So here, when you look at the teeth from top, you would see only a small dot or a line, whereas inside the spread of the cone would be higher. Then you have a decay in the dentine. Once it reaches the dentine, the patient starts having a little pain. They might have sporadic pain, which means they might have pain today. After two days, they might not have pain. But if you come to a dentist at this stage, probably a temporary restoration after which a permanent filling could be done. But if you avoid going to the dentist, even at this stage, this, the decay can spread into the pulp of your tooth. As I told you, pulp is the innermost portion of your teeth, which has the blood vessels and the nerve vessels. So here, as it goes into the pulp, you will see that the pain is intolerable. The patients would say, I was sleeping and suddenly I got up and I had pain and I can't sleep anymore. Here, the patient will complain of severe pain, may or may not be associated with swelling. Once the patient comes at this stage to you, uh, we generally take an x-ray and find out if this patient needs a root canal therapy. There are some times when patients even avoid this and comes much later where the tooth is just, uh, you know, not possible to even save the tooth. We might have to only do extraction. So why we are talking in detail about tooth decay is a simple procedures can help you save your teeth and not only that, how our products are going to help you. So let's look at that. So if you're, pay, if you're going to the doctor and saying, I just had food particles st getting stuck, or if I had some kind of pain associated, not every day, not much enough, then the doctor would just do a filling. In yesteryears, we used to do fillings called mercury fillings. So this was called silver fillings. And all of us know that silver would be black in color. So that is how the fillings used to look. But today, with aesthetics playing a very important role, when somebody says, ah, you don't want them to show some black teeth, right? You want them to show nice, white, bright colored teeth. And that is why dentistry shifted itself from those black colored restorations to white or tooth colored aesthetic restorations. Our next era also was there, which we called the gold filling restorations. And here you can see gold fillings done. If you ask the most biocompatible uh, material, what is biocompatible? It means when you do a filling, it does not have any hazardous, uh, you know, problems on the tooth. Just like we say eco-friendly, right? When we speak about products. So here again, when you do gold fillings, there is an eco-friendliness to your teeth along with the surrounding tissues. So that is why we uh, generally prefer gold fillings if the patients can afford it. Now, 
Next, we move on to the most prevalent problems of uh, the, uh, not only of the teeth, of the entire body. So if you ask which is the most commonest disease in the, oral, in the whole body, I'm sure your answer should be gum disease, right? So gum disease or periodontitis or gingivitis is the most prevalent disease of the body, okay? So what happens when you have healthy gums, the healthy gums snugly touch the teeth and we call it snugly hugging the teeth, okay? Once the gums pull away from the teeth, then you have pockets formed and these pockets would be a source where food will get caught and because food gets caught, as you brush your teeth, you will start to have bleeding. When it is just bleeding and only if the gums, that is the gingiva, are inflamed, we call it gingivitis. But if along with this gums, if even the underlying bone, even that is at a different, you know, if it is destroyed, then we call it the periodontitis. So here you will see the bone is also destroyed. Thereby there is gaps between the teeth. And now the patients would say that food is getting caught or it becomes very difficult for them to clean themselves. So here we have the stages of the periodontal disease. The first is healthy gums, which means the gums, when you look at the gums, let us say what healthy gums are. Take an orange and bring it close to your eyes. As you bring it close to your eyes, you will see the orange peel. The orange peel will be very firm and resilient. And along with that, you will see a dots on the ring. That is called stippling. Now that makes the orange really firm. So that's how our gums are in reality. So that's why when you brush your teeth, even if your brush accidentally touches the gums, it will not bleed. So healthy gums are firm, are pink, and they don't bleed. What happens when you have the next stage, which is gingivitis? So imagine I have brushed my teeth in the morning. After brushing my teeth, I've had some food, maybe breakfast, maybe a glass of milk or tea. Now, after half an hour, if I just take my nails and rub it over my teeth, what would happen is you will find a white sticky substance over your teeth. That's called the plaque. Now, if I leave this plaque for more than 12 hours, see, I'm sure you would have seen in any paste advertisement that, you know, just to uh, grab uh, the attention of children, they would say, if you uh, brush your teeth, you'll have to do twice daily. If you don't do that in the night, what happens? There is some dishoom dishoom happening. The germs come and attack your enamel and thereby the enamel gets hurt. When that happens, your enamel, when it gets hurt, that means you're going to have decay. And the same thing when it happens to the gums, your gums start to bleed. So this plaque is a sticky substance which attracts more food particles and also attracts a lot more of bacteria. When this happens, the gums become swollen, they become red, they smell bad. How do you know it smells bad? Just open your mouth and keep your hand or palm in front of you and just say, ha. And as you say that, you will be breathing in your own uh, mouth uh, order. So we call that halitosis. I'll talk about that later. So the mouth will start smelling bad. And as you brush your teeth, your uh, the, you know, the gums would start to bleed. So that would be gingivitis for you. At this stage, when you go to your doctor, they will say probably you just need a cleaning and then you're going to be fine. The next is mild periodontitis, which is the beginning of the bone destruction or destroy. So you will see there is a tissue loss along the teeth and you will see there is bone loss also. But mild periodontitis is a reversible process. What do I mean by reversible? When you go to your doctor, if you undergo treatment, and once the treatment is done, your gums and your bone bounces back. Moderate periodontitis, there is more bone and dis uh, tissue uh, destruction, which means some therapeutic treatment would be done. And when there is severe periodontitis, the tooth might get lost and you will have to extract the tooth or sometimes even the patients say the tooth came out by itself. So this could make the tooth very loose within the socket which is there 
and thereby we might have to extract or the tooth itself can get extracted. So this is how you will have the moderate and the advanced periodontic disease. And when you look at the patient's mouth, you will see so huge gaps that food can get attached and thereby making it difficult to clean. So how do I take care of my teeth? I'm going to give you the solutions from our personal care section in the oral care. So here you know about glister toothpaste, right? So glister toothpaste helps for cleaner, whiter and healthier teeth. I'm sure all of you want good smiles and smile can be only a healthy smile, right? So here you have glister, which is a multi-action toothpaste and all this is with regular tooth brushing and it works for the entire family. So a million dollar smile begins with a revolutionary glister multi-action toothpaste. What makes it different from any other toothpaste in the market is this Reminact advantage. Reminact, I can divide into three parts, re, mineralization, activity. RE is re, MIN stands for mineralization, ACT stands for activity. So Reminact. This Reminact, if you can look at it, it's written TM, which means it's a trademark. No other company in this entire world can copy this, which means it's a patented product. And this helps the enamel get a deposition of the minerals which has gone out. What can be the minerals which goes out? It could be the calcium, it could be the fluoride, which can get out because of the plaque which gets attached to the tooth. And as I told you, the plaque is a sticky organism on the tooth. It starts to take away the organic part, leaving back the inorganic. So here, imagine a mesh. The mesh is the organic and the inorganic are the calcium, the fluoride. So once the calcium and the fluoride comes out, the uh, organic part becomes weak and the mesh breaks and the decay starts to come. So what happens when we start using glister? I told you the calcium and the fluoride comes out, right? So as the calcium and the fluoride comes out, the Reminac would take that calcium, put it back and thereby act as a, uh, you know, a covet, a complete protection for your teeth. And that is how it helps you to remove the plaque gently removes the surface stains, which can be caused because of your tea or coffee or even smoking and keeps your enamel very safe and polished. So that is why each time you smile, you have your healthy whitey smile. So it has the benefits of whitens teeth, fights cavity, removes plaque, enamel has a safe polishing agent, removes all the stains, safely cleans and freshens the breath with regular brushing. And as I told you, the most important USP is it promotes remineralization through the activity of Rebinat. Next paste we have is the Glister Herbal Multi-Action Paste. This is enriched with the goodness of 11 herbal ingredients that are known for its benefits. I'm going to tell you about the 11 herbal ingredients. But before that, this paste has biodegradable microbeads of essential oils of tea tree and clove oil, which are effective. And this gives enhanced delivery and ensures maximum efficacy of the ingredients. Imagine these microbeads. I'm sure you're thinking about the polishing scrub of your artistry. So as you rub your polishing scrub, how the ooba beads start to polish your face. Similarly, these biodegradable microbeads with the essential oils as you brush your teeth gets opened up and goes into the targeted areas, give enhanced drug delivery and ensures maximum efficacy. And this is very, very important, especially because all of them are coming with a great herbal range. So what happens when you use this uh, Glister multi-action toothpaste, which is in the herbal range? You have a great taste because of the goodness of the herbs. It provides a 12-hour germ protection. That means you have to brush your teeth twice daily. There is a significant plaque reduction in 10 days. Now, this is something which is phenomenal, friends. 
when you start brushing your teeth if you have bleeding in 10 days the bleeding would stop what i generally recommend is you take this paste keep it between the teeth and the gums wait for 5 to 10 minutes and then brush you would see a remarkable change it also reduces the gum related issues as early as 10 days also the sensitivity gets reduced in 10 days of regular usage and all this is not through just opinions it is facts given by clinical studies so what are the benefits remember i told you the ingredients we have the basil the ginger and the neem for germ protection we have camphor for as a cooling agent and uh, we have eucalyptol which fights and protects uh, uh, removes the plaque we have clove oil which helps to fight cavities and prevent toothache and this also safely cleans for freshening the breath we have the clove and the tea tree which prevents the foul smell protection which we call halitosis this is also with muleti peppermint and spearmint so you can see it is also a protection or immunity booster for your gums it soothes toothache because of your lemon present there and of course it has remenat which promotes the remineralization so the remenat helps redeposit of the essential minerals what are the minerals i told you it's the calcium and the fluorides which get out of the teeth and now because of this space it get gets back into the enamel making your teeth very strong and more resistant to decay it also helps to remove surface stains and discoloration such as those caused by any of the colored drinks which you can have or smoking uh, or any other uh, stuff with regular brushing as compared to a non fluoridated toothpaste so why leave the kids away right the kids become the more important uh, you know uh, section of our uh, family so for the kids you have an anti cavity fluoride gel toothpaste i'm sure uh, this must be a favorite among the children because it has a yummy strawberry flavor and this is a gel based so that it does not slip from the brush and this helps the children uh, you know activate themselves into a normal routine of brushing otherwise to get the children to brush their teeth is a herculean task my dear friends so once you encourage your kids to brush it helps to strengthen and protect the developing teeth and thereby it prevents the cavities and also protects the enamel you can use this paste for children between age 2 till 10 years age so what is it in this toothpaste you can see it's a strawberry flavored tooth gel and you can see that it is used between 2 to 10 years and beyond that you can use the regular toothpaste and this is a sugar free gel so this does not induce cavities it strengthens and protects the teeth it has an enamel safe uh, polishing and a cleaning agent it has a cavity fighting gel which strengthens and protects along with the fluoride and the exclusive remenact formula helps redeposit the essential natural minerals back into the enamel making the tooth strong and more resistant to decay and it comes with a easy twist cap and because it is easy twist cap the children can open and close by themselves we have a brush complementing this space what we have spoken about you have the advanced persona junior tooth brush the advantage of all the brushes which we have are in our oral care range has this acupressure wave and ribs technology which means more you give pressure on your teeth your tooth will not get damaged maybe because of the pressure you give there'll be a fraying of the bristles but that is not because of the quality of the bristles it's because of the pressure which we are giving so because it is acute pressure so it will only take in that much of pressure which is necessary to brush your teeth this comes to a question as how long should i brush my teeth and what is the pressure i need to apply first thing is you need to brush your teeth at least 1 and 1/2 to 2 minutes per time you brush second as you place the brush on the teeth between the teeth and the gums see that the pressure should be just enough to make 
the cleaning process done not to hurt your gums so by doing so if there is bleeding happening or you see the brush the fraying of the bristles that means you are giving an extra pressure along with uh, these uh, technologies you also have a tongue cleaner which is a unique formula kept on the back side of the head of the toothbrush and it also has a vacuum holder on the lower quadrant where it helps a uh, easy drainage of the water thereby cleaning or keeping the toothbrush very safe for the next use so the description here as i told you you have the new acu pressure wave and ribs technology which helps the uh, the head of the brush bend gently and give the enough pressure to clean your teeth and not to irritate or damage your tender gums it also has a tongue cleaner on the back side of the brush which has soft rubber ridges and this helps to remove the bacteria or uh, you know which actually comes on the tongue and if this bacteria are allowed to grow you will start having bad breath so you can encourage your children also to clean their tongue and as i told you the unique vacuum holder once helps the brush to stand upright so you know better oral hygiene is there along with these dry brushes and the bristles quality is extra soft round ended dupont bristles and this helps in gentle cleansing and massaging of your teeth and the gums so how do you place this brush you place the brush at a 45 degree angle so that it goes gently into the gums and slides down the teeth it is not in and out it is up and down so that's the motion which you would do when you brush your teeth a unique handle design and a unique rubberized non slip uh, thumb grip is given which has an excellent brush control so that your brush does not slip from your hand this ensures effective brushing slender neck and design which is created so the benefits as i have told you has everything of what we had just discussed before so you have to brush twice daily once in the morning i'm sure all of us brush in the morning because otherwise nobody would come next to us right so you have to brush your teeth once in the morning and definitely before you go to bed in the night so how do you place or how much of paste do you place on the brush so here in this diagram you can see it's a normal elongated way that's not the way you need to place our toothpaste because you know our toothpaste are concentrated right so our toothpaste if this is the bristle you go on the shorter length which means not the entire length of the bristles the shorter length or the width of the bristles is where or that much if i could say i we i would call it the peanut size very little of the paste is enough and thereby you can see how effective eco friendly and economical your toothpaste happens as you use these brushes another question which comes here is how often should i change my brush so definitely once in 3 months and uh, that is why when you uh, buy your product you it comes in a four pack so which means a uh, 12 months in a year so 3 months you need to change so if you buy your brush i'm sure you have the brush set for the entire year we also have a classic uh, toothbrush from the persona range and here you can see it has all the qualities of what we have already discussed before and it effectively removes the plaque without causing pain or any bleeding again this is a lighter toothbrush and i would say you can use this especially if you have a uh, you know people who are diabetic or in chronic diseases like you know they are lying in the bed they can't brush by themselves then i would help uh, you know tell them that you can use this brush so that somebody else even if they exert pressure it will not harm the person so you can do it when you are tending to uh, attending to any patients or when your patients are diabetic so here again you have all those uh, features and an additional feature is it's a pocket friendly price i'm sure uh, may, there might be many uh, people who love this brush just because of it being pocket friendly now we are uh, having a launch the glister gets better and bigger 
with the new uh, Glister uh, Advanced uh, Toothbrush. And this gives you a 360 degree uh, option for cleaning your teeth with a wonderful care. Now, what are the features? You have the power tip bristles with lamella. What is a lamella? If you can see at the edge of the brushes, you will see it has a rubbery uh, content. Now that acts as a gum stimulator or a gum massager. You have an exclusive bristle pattern. If you look at the external surfaces of your teeth, it is not a just a curve. You will have a convexity and then a concavity, another convexity, a concavity. And hence, these brushes actually go between the teeth so beautifully well, giving a very satisfaction uh, cleaning uh, agent as you brush. It has a unique design and a flexible neck so that it can go even to the end. That is the last teeth also. It moves very freely. It has a very comfortable grip. And at the back of the head of the brush, you also have a tongue cleaner. It is available in four exciting colors. So if there are four people or four members in a family, you can definitely choose your favorite color and have that as, uh, you know, the three months brush, which you want to have. And the features and benefits are you have the power tip bristles that reach deep between the teeth and uh, surfaces which are hard to clean. It provides a 360 degree oral cleaning, all round cleaning of the teeth, gums, tongue and cheek. And it has the rounded DuPont bristles. The features include soft gum massager. I told you the end uh, lamellae. So those act as soft gum massagers, which gently but effectively massages the gums. You have an advanced tongue cleaner, which is extra soft. So that the papillae which is there on the tongue, we have four different types of papillae on the tongue and these papillae helps us to have better taste. So today in COVID times, we are always thinking about having better taste or being able to identify the taste, if I should say, right? So you should be able to identify the taste of uh, whether it is sweet, sour, bitter or uh, sweet. So, you know, all these uh, tastes, salty, all these, if you can really try to figure out, that means you're safe. And previously, if you used to look at the tongue cleaners, I'm sure you must have remembered your aunts, uncles, or parents, or even grandparents use some uh, bristles. And here, if you look at those tongue cleaners, they used to bald the tongue. They used to take off all the uh, papillae, and thereby the taste used to differ. So here we have very eco-friendly, uh, you know, advanced way of tongue cleaning with extra soft feel on the surface. So your tongues are healthy and the papillae are healthy so you can taste better. The acupressure point are definitely for comfort, which controls, uh, you know, uh, and gives you control as you brush. This is 100% recyclable. So not only that, you know, as you brush, you're thinking about it, but after you brush and throw the brush out, is it eco-friendly to the environment? The answer is yes, because it's 100% recyclable, non-toxic pet packing, and definitely non-slip grip. So keep calm and brush away all your worries because when you have Glister and Persona to help you, there is nothing more to think about. So for people who did a wrong method of brushing and had these gums which went up, after using Glister and uh, using the proper method of brushing, I'm sure and confident you will have your gums come back to your teeth because sometimes uh, if you have not crossed the irreversible process, then even without a dentist, you can get your teeth back in proper shape. Did you know if you don't floss, you're leaving up to 40% of your tooth surfaces untouched and unclean? What do I mean by this? Imagine you have your teeth. Imagine me to be your teeth. The teeth has a front surface, back, right, left, and the top. So you have five surfaces of your teeth. When I brush my teeth, I brush on the outside, on the back, and on the top, what happens to my side? I don't brush it, right? So that is where you need to use a flossing. A floss is a thread and this can be waxed, braided, and this easily slips between your teeth. And when that happens, you can clean between your teeth. How to learn flossing? I think we'll have to have another session for that. But you can take a flossing thread and floss between your teeth.
Next is the interdental brushing. So I told you that there are uh, food particles which could get stuck between your teeth and the gums could rip them down. When this happens, then you use something called the interdental brushes. Remember those bottle brushes we used to use as a child to clean our water bottles? So they had a bristle, a circular bristle over a wire and that used to go through the smallest nozzle enter the deepest portion of the bottle, you could easily clean the bottle and remove the brush out. Similarly, you have miniature tooth brushes called the interdental brushes, which go between the teeth and clean that area and thereby that area having an absolutely clean surface. Next is the tongue cleaning. I have already mentioned to you about the tongue cleaning, but why should I clean the tongue? because the tongue is a major focal point of harboring bacteria and because of that you could have a problem called halitosis. So there are different types of tongue cleaner which could be flexible or rigid and this helps to clean the papillae or the deep fissures of your tongue or remove any surface coating. When does the surface coating happen? When you have long prolonged fever or any other debilitating diseases then you have this surface coating. So that uh, has to be removed, especially we say the candida or uh, the uh, fungal infection of the tongue of the oral cavity, you will see a kind of a white carpet on your tongue. So those surface coatings has to be removed. What is the technique? You take the back of the brush and just clean it up and apply gentle pressure. You can clean from the inside, then move it outside and forward. So you have to keep the brush at the back portion and move it outside and forward. And you can do this on the entire tongue. I have been telling about halitosis for quite some time. So what is halitosis? In simple English, I could say it is bad breath. And what are the reasons? It could be because of some products, maybe onions and garlics, which you have had in the biryani today afternoon. It could be alcohol, coffee or tea, cigarette, any infection or poor oral hygiene, which means you have not done twice brushing, kidney diseases, infection of the paranasal uh, cavities where it, uh, you have uh, a cold or a cough. And because of that, you know, you will have this uh, kind of uh, bad breath. You could have a heartburn. So if there is some infection, then you can have this liver diseases, bronchitis or diabetes. So in all these regions, you will have halitosis or bad breath. So I have already given you the solution for the bad breath. And that is why we say mouth is the gateway of the body. Why do we say that? Because if you want to have good body health or good systemic health, your good oral health or local factors should be good. Because if you have any teeth problem or gum problem, it could be indicative of a heart disease, mouth cancer, diabetes, gum disease, tooth loss, bad breath, dental caries, lung conditions or stroke. So definitely even in this uh, season of COVID, we are talking about lung infections, right? So here oral cavity and oral care helps you to have much better local factors so as to not help you get any other systemic problems. So what are the systemic conditions which you could have and what are the oral manifestations? If you have to look at it, you can see there are various systemic conditions which can have an oral manifestation. HIV or AIDS as you know it often manifests as fungi in the oral cavity. Low blood sugar would give you, you a characteristic bad odor of your mouth. TB or tuberculosis would have uh, characteristic ulcers or uh, oral tissues which are abraded where when you eat food, you will have some kind of a burning sensation of your tongue. Xerostomia means dry mouth. That means you are not drinking enough water or keeping yourself hydrated. This will uh, result in rapid dental decay because as I told you, your uh, teeth uh, needs saliva to keep it uh, hygienic and as you eat the fibrous food, the salivation increases and acts in a self-cleansing process. So if you're not drinking enough water, your saliva is thick, which means caries could happen. Tetanus, this uh, would be injection that may result in a locked jaw. Locked jaw means you have your jaw 
would just would get locked and it would not open very difficult to move your jaw at that time diabetes i'm sure all of you know you have delayed wound healing and you will have gum diseases leukemia or blood cancers you would have resultation in the formation of oral ulcers syphilis is a sexually transmitted uh, transmitted disease and this would have uh, uh, you know on the palate palate is the roof of your mouth when you say ah and take your tongue and touch on the top that is the palate and so you will have malformation especially uh, when a child is born you would have some physical uh, morphological changes of the face stress or psychological disorders you would start clenching or grinding your teeth and thereby resulting in a tm joint or joint problems down syndrome is a uh, uh, you know genetically uh, transformed uh, problem and uh, this uh, will give you an enlarged tongue which means that tongue will be so big that the imprints of your teeth would be there on the tongue drug abuse is any drugs which you would take that could also cause a dental caries or tooth loss bulimia is when uh, you know uh, mostly models they try to for uh, remaining slim or uh, the size zero which they call so for that they would take in food and then uh, take their fingers and push it down to the throat and vomit so as they do that the food comes out and along with the food gastric acid acidic uh, you know uh, concussions come out and with this uh, that will erode the teeth and uh, thereby making your oral cavity very acidic and uh, the teeth would be like you know curved out so it will be like an erosion and last is various genetic syndromes which could cause malformations of your teeth and jaws so if you don't have good teeth you can also affect your general health the brain the lungs the heart the skin the pancreas and the kidneys so oral health is definitely very important and i would reiterate that mouth or oral cavity is a gateway to the body we also have a physiological issue called the pregnancy tumor don't get associated this tumor with cancer it is not this just means that when a woman is pregnant especially in the we, we divide that 9 months into first trimester second trimester and third trimester when in the first trimester we say 3 months first 3 months second 3 months and the third 3 months so uh, the first 3 months is when uh, the the pa the patient or the pregnant woman can have miscarriages if she does not have healthy teeth so uh, we could uh, see certain patients coming to us with uh, a kind of a tumor or uh, swelling uh, or enlargement of the gingiva so here we do cleaning and uh, reassure the patient of good oral hygiene and a maintenance protocol uh, the best uh, time to get any dental or oral uh, treatment done would be the second trimester the second trimester means the fourth fifth and the sixth months of pregnancy the 7th 8th and 9th month again we try to avoid any dental treatment so uh, we avoid because there could be miscarriage or a low birth babies or even abortion so that is why uh, this physiological condition of pregnancy uh, we definitely uh, encourage our patients to come even before they are planning to get pregnant the reason is with pregnancy you could have periodontitis and the bacteria could move throughout the body and thereby it could affect the heart or the fetus the liver or the gut or stomach and as far as the fetus or the child is concerned as i told you you could have preterm babies low birth babies or uh, stillborn babies so what is a carry home message a simple carry home message is brush twice daily as simple as that can be brushing once in the morning and once before going to bed in the night flossing as i told you is to clean your teeth on the sides a tooth has five surfaces to clean the right side left side you need a dental floss interdental brushing is not for everybody it's only for people who have gaps between the teeth generally happens in the elderly people gargling is something we recommend so after you have had your food take some amount of water in your oral cavity 
nicely swish swash and then spit it out do it two or three times so that you can nicely gargle and remove all the food particles eat a well balanced diet i showed you the food pyramid in the beginning of the lecture and that's very important because only a well balanced diet will give you the exact nutrients which will help you maintain not only good teeth good bone but also good gums and definitely avoid bad habits nothing goes without avoiding whatever things which we are not supposed to do so uh, i guess it has been harped before so i would not uh, spend a lot more time here and a visit to a dentist every 6 months we all know prevention is better than cure but do we also know prevention is cheaper than cure then a visit to a dentist when you don't have an issue is the best time to visit because dentistry is not costly only your delay makes it so so i'm just going to uh, share some slides uh, this is when i was awarded an outstanding academic excellence award in laser dentistry uh, a phenomena where i am uh, famous for and uh, this is uh, awarded by the uh, dci or the dental council of india president dr majumdar and uh, this uh, is really a very proud moment because you know to get it from the person or the most important person in dentistry today uh, so that is a real achievement i feel uh, this is of course in tamil uh, it says lady special and i was the feature girl of this uh, magazine in uh, 2015 uh, in the june edition and uh, the entire story from the school i studied to the college i studied and what have i done in dentistry uh, all been covered with my family members there uh, was a real proud moment for me uh, it says bale pal marthuva sangat talaivi which means uh, you know a good uh, dental uh, surgeon and i was also the youngest woman president of the indian dental association madras branch in 2015 uh, the uh, madras branch is the uh, biggest and the largest branch and also the oldest branch in the country so that's a very proud privilege and uh, uh, you know uh, a kind of a position or a responsibility which i held uh, a very strong uh, uh, identity which i gained because of this uh, presidentship I was also honored by the honorary health secretary of Tamil Nadu then Dr J Radhakrishnan uh, and I was also honored as the best dental clinic in South India by the India Lifestyle Awards 2016 As you all know dentistry is definitely the business of smiles what do people notice when you meet someone if you wondered it is your smile and that contributes to 47% So today's or the five-day carnival of personal care definitely could without smile more. So when I say smile more, because that's what there's only eleven, the clothes is only seven percent, and your hair is only four percent. So now you can definitely carry your smile, be the reason for someone today, and a perfect day. only when your soul smiles so this is my glister smile as i walk through the ramp and won the miss beautiful smile award and that's my glister smile i have been personally using glister for 10 plus years and i feel it as a proud privilege to get this platform to share what i would uh, like to share with all of you and that's my glister smile uh you can contact me at this particular number and uh, thank you so much ajantya and helen for this wonderful opportunity so thank you ma'am thank you vidya ma'am lot of uh, insight and a uh, lot of uh, experience has uh, spoken by words so any questions that you'll want to ask uh, vidya ma'am she's there for another 5 10 minutes you can just uh, uh, mention in the chat box so we can get it uh, clarified if you all need any questions to be answered uh i have a question here 
it says citrus fruits affects tooth ma'am due to citric acid so should i understand that uh, can we take citrus fruits uh, is that the question uh, so if i would say uh, i would say uh, you should uh, when you take fruits versus fruit juices i would go in for the fruits and not the juices so citrus fruit by itself is not harmful you need vitamin c and the most natural way you could get vitamin c is citrus fruits so definitely a citrus fruit is uh, you know good enough uh, how is glister kids made sugar free i guess that is a manufacturing uh, question uh i guess i have to ask nilakote uh, for that answer but yeah. uh, what i have understood is uh, uh, the reason why they make sugar free is because uh, kids generally love to eat the toothpaste i'm sure all of us have uh, had a bit of the toothpaste as we were growing up uh, i'm sure all of you will agree when i say that right so uh, when i uh, look at myself and if i see that uh, you know uh, when you brush your teeth if you're going to swallow the uh, tooth paste it has to be safe for the child and that is why we prefer it to be uh, you know sugar free for the child uh, so that in case the child ingests it it should be comfortable i would not recommend that you can eat the tooth paste but i'm just saying a child might not know a 2 year old child would just be learning how to spit uh, outside how to blow a candle so i would uh, say if uh, when can i use a toothpaste for a child teach the child to blow candles so once a child learns how to blow candles that means a child is ready to spit and once you know that your child is not going to ingest the toothpaste that's the best time to use the toothpaste so next is a uh, lemon leaves uh, the teeth sensitive why uh, the uh, lemon as such if you look at it is highly acidic so i will not say take the uh, lemon bite it into your teeth i would rather say uh, you can uh, drink lemon juices that does not cause because you are diluting it with water but a direct lemon or the lemon leaves have concentrated form and that is why they could remove the calcium part of your teeth thereby making your uh, teeth sensitive i have another question which says teeth already have gaps what to do please visit your dentist because that means you have a, a periodontal problem or periodontitis i told you if it is gingivitis then your uh, glister herbal toothpaste when applied and when brushed would help but if you have gaps already that means there is bone loss and if there is bone loss that means you definitely need to have your uh, check or your visit to a dentist ma'am can i get your contact number i did share it anu uh, my number is 98401 Seven six zero double eight nine eight four zero one seven six zero double eight. Another question from Vaishali. I have multiple cavities. What should I do? Visit your dentist. They might need to take an X-ray. It could be an individual tooth X-ray or a multiple uh, teeth X-ray or a bigger X-ray called OPG. and then we would uh, evaluate and see if your teeth just needs filling or you might need a root canal for sensitive uh, tooth what do you suggest ma'am herbal or normal answer is herbal because as i gave you uh, the clinical trials uh, within 10 days of using herbal paste how do i recommend i will tell you to take the herbal toothpaste apply between the teeth and the gums wait for 10 minutes and then brush it uh ma'am what is the color tag in the toothpaste black color blue color doesn't really matter uh is it malati so uh it really doesn't matter because all uh amway products are eco friendly you can use it uh, whatever color it is uh is it fluoride which is dangerous by uh, mr kumar 
so sir uh, fluoride is dangerous when used uh, more than the recommended parts per million we call it the ppm so uh, what do i mean by this we have a fluoridation uh, which we do it uh, in water or in toothpaste and uh, this is because we want fluoride fluoride is a good mineral the problem is when taken in uh, which is not uh, uh, you know recommended by our body then we have something called skeletal fluorosis wherein you will have uh, you know the backbone the the spinal cord would bend and in the teeth if you look at it on the teeth you would see a variation of colors uh, see uh, in tamil nadu we have a place called naiveli where there are lot of minerals put into the uh, water and you have the ground mineral level also very high so what we have found is uh, you know these uh, children born that in that belt have the teeth which are uh, naturally brown in color this natural brown can also happen when pregnant women take tetracycline uh, tetracycline is an antibiotic which uh, was prescribed in earlier times and uh, you know this used to cause a kind of brownish yellow discoloration on your teeth so nowadays nobody prescribes that because of its uh, danger uh, you know uh, the contraindications uh, otherwise uh, fluoride within uh, the recommended parts per million is very good and you don't have to worry about that glister has taken care of that my age is 25 i don't uh, i didn't lose my one canine milk teeth what is the reason and i also visited a dentist uh, i would uh, swati anil so hi swati i would just like to tell you you need an x ray uh, if you have not lost your canine milk tooth maybe this is a deciduous teeth which is called the milk teeth and you might not have a permanent tooth or the permanent tooth might be in an unfavorable position which means it needs to be extracted if i have gap from childhood then uh, neha uh, uh, the teeth in the childhood we have something uh, like you know see our jaw is very small in as a child and as we grow uh, the teeth uh, the jaw grows and as i told you you have only five teeth in one quadrant as a child and as we grow we have eight teeth in one quadrant so we need gaps uh, between the teeth as a child i don't want to use some technical jargon to confuse you but i'm just trying to tell you in a very simple language so uh, when you understand that you need gap in the child this is only to help your permanent teeth or the teeth which comes out at 6 years to 17 years uh, to have space in your jaw if i have to explain this in a very simple term imagine the back seat of your car and how many people can sit comfortably there maybe three people imagine five people have to get into the car at the back seat how would they sit the bigger ones would sit on the seat the smaller thinner slimmer ones would sit in the front that is how your jaw would behave so if your jaw size is small and your tooth size is more we call the jaw tooth discrepancy and that is why this discrepancy is naturally solved by the gaps between the teeth when you are young i have one implanted tooth what is the best thing i can do i need an x-ray to answer this question i'm sorry santosh i might not be able to answer this question because i need to know which tooth you're talking about uh can i suggest this to a person who has fluoride teeth uh our paste is very safe you can suggest it to anybody uh the fluoride teeth is a uh you could it's called an intrinsic stain and this has nothing to do with our toothpaste so the answer is a yes uh it is uh, ilakya alakya goud yes alakya okay uh okay i've answered that my teeth are becoming yellow color between and on the teeth uh, that means you need to consult your uh, dentist uh, shrilata uh, the reason is because uh, 
there is something called uh, the dentine which i told you a dentine is yellow to uh, uh, you know a lighter yellow to a darker yellow in color and uh, the enamel is uh, white in terms of uh, bluish white to grayish white in color so imagine a woman wearing a sari with a yellow underskirt and a white sari obviously the teeth is going to look yellow right so it could be that your dentine itself thickness is bigger or your enamel is getting thinned out again i need to see the person and only then i can talk about that for a diabetic which glister is the best and see the answer is herbal toothpaste for yellow color glister or herbal uh, both works well because both has the polishing uh, agent in it uh there is uh, sai vendran and uh, the question is what is the hardness of the bristles uh it is soft bristles dupont bristles so it works well for any uh, patient but as i told you if the patient is a diabetic or if they have any other chronic diseases i would recommend the classic brush even if brushing regularly for a long time with glister my teeth is yellowish and black uh what to, what to recommend for whitening teeth you might need a dentist we do procedures called whitening of the teeth which is called teeth bleaching so i need to look at the person ashutosh otherwise i will not be able to answer that uh my tooth is broken in many parts chaitali uh, what can i do again a visit to a dentist uh so that is fine i think i have answered everything so far uh helen uh, do you want to uh no ma'am <clears throat> that's it ma'am ma'am i think so you have addressed almost all the questions uh, so thank you vidya ma'am for for taking your precious time and uh, giving us a wonderful session on uh, dentistry and uh, people have been uh, like asking like uh, they want more sessions like this from you oh thank you i would come back yeah sure so thank you vidya ma'am for giving us such a detailed presentation and again she is a very expert in talking about vitamin c which is our favorite product and uh, all her knowledge was only within tamil nadu so i want to explore her for the complete south so we will have lot of sessions by uh, vidya ma'am going forward and uh, she is a very expert and uh, you all can contact her uh, in case of any uh, dental issues and all that so thank you vidya ma'am for giving us a, such a wonderful session taking up your uh, uh, precious time and sharing us these information so again uh, in this uh, beauty uh, virtual uh, atom we have another program that is tomorrow uh, we have hair care workshop uh, so this hair care workshop will be on uh, how do i do a hair massage how do i apply a scalp tonic and what are the supplements that are being supported for hair care so there there's going to be a different uh, agenda for tomorrow hair care workshop and this program is going to be at tomorrow 3 pm so uh, in case if you all want the details for this session our uh, numbers are being shared in the chat box so kindly contact us and we will share the information and uh, once again vidya ma'am thanks a lot for your uh, detailed presentation on uh, dental health and giving a lot of insight on our product so i think so like uh, you give us the uh, different shape of glister and uh, all the glister toothpaste and uh, the glister brush and all the complete category so thank you vidya ma'am thank you so much helen thank you so much anjita and the entire amway south marketing team i guess uh, how much ever uh, i say my words will fail to express my gratitude so thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity and thanks to all those patient delegates who have been uh, kind enough to listen for the last one hour thank you so much thank you so much ma'am thank, thank you. you everyone thank you